Okay. Now, I have been mentioning class the even or odd exponents with in the given in the previous examples. Now, this time class, let's learn now um, how to identify if a function is even or odd or um, neither even nor odd. Okay. Now, let's have this even and odd functions. If f of x is a function such that f of x is equal to f of negative x for any value of x in its domain, then it is even function. On the other hand, if f of negative x equals negative f of x, then f of x is odd function. Okay, now let me emphasize the first case. How do you determine if given function is even if the f of x is equal to f of negative x. Now, um, add function if f of negative x equals to negative f of x. Now, um, you have here f of negative x, you have your negative f of x. In order for you to get this class, um, it's a basic um, substitution class. Okay, I'll give you an example later on with how to get f of negative x the negative f of x. Now, in the last statement here, um, however, if f of x is not equal to f of negative x and not equal to negative f of x, then the function is neither even nor odd, okay? If everything is not equal, then the function is um, neither even nor odd. Now, I have here um, emphasis or example. If given f of x equals x cubed minus 4x, uh, 4x plus 1 is not an odd function just because the degree is odd. Okay? Class, um, this is already the part where it clears out um, that thought just because the degree of the given, uh, the highest degree of the given is in odd. That doesn't mean the entire function is odd that's no okay now it goes the same with x to the fourth power minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 this is not even function just because the highest degree is even or 4 okay you have to use this theorem of even or odd function okay now to um, illustrate this further let me give you First example, discuss the type of the following function. f of x equals x cubed minus 4x to the fifth power plus x. It's important class to arrange first the given in standard form for you before you find the f of negative x or negative f of x. It will be um, negative 4x to the fifth power plus x cubed plus. Let's start identifying f of negative x. So, for us to identify f of negative x of the given, all we have to do is to substitute class negative x to all the x's. So, having the given which is negative 4x to the fifth power plus x cubed plus x, it will be like this. Negative 4 times the quantity of negative x to the fifth power plus the quantity of negative x cubed plus negative x. It's just basic substitution, okay? So having this class, it will be negative 4 times the quantity of negative x raised to the fifth power is still negative x times negative 4, it will be now positive 4x to the fifth power. Plus, negative x to the third power is negative x cubed, so it will be minus x cubed, then minus x. So, the final answer now, 4x to the 5th power minus x cubed minus x. So this is now our f of negative x. Now, you will compare now. Is f of negative x 
equal to f of x. Obviously, they are not the same, which means this is not an even function. So with this, we will now get the negative f of x for us to identify if this is an odd function. So using the given, um, the arranged standard form, the given in standard form, negative 4x to the fifth power plus x cubed plus x. Now for us to get the negative f of x, all we have to do is to multiply all this with negative. Okay? So distribute no negative um, to all terms. It will be positive 4x to the fifth power negative times positive x cubed is negative x cubed the negative times x is negative x so your negative f of x now is 4x to the fifth power minus x cubed minus x now with this you compare is negative f of x equal to f of negative x yes it's it is clear that they are equal since f of negative x is equal to negative f of x, thus we can say that the given f of x is an odd function because, again, the f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. Let's have another. Discuss the type of the function of g of x equals negative 9x times the quantity of x to the fifth power plus 6x. So, expanding this um, given, it will be negative 9 times x to the fifth power is equal to negative 9x to the sixth power minus 54x squared. So, let's identify first g of negative x. So, negative 9 times the quantity of negative x to the 6th power minus 54 times the quantity of negative x squared. So evaluating this, it will be negative x to the 6th power times negative 9 is negative 9x to the 6th power. Then um, negative x squared is positive x squared times 54. So it will be still negative 54x squared. So our g of x here, our g of negative x here is negative 9x to the 6th power minus 54x squared. Now, is this equal to the given? Yes. So since our g of negative x is equal to the given, so we can say now that this one or g of x is an even function. Okay? So, um... You see class here, you don't have to identify the negative g of x because you arrive now with um, equal um, g of negative x to your g of x. Let's have another. Discuss the uh, function of x squared minus 3 times the quantity of x minus 5. So let's expand this first so x squared times x is x cubed x squared times negative 5 is negative 5 x squared negative 3 times x is negative 3 x the negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15 so this is our h of x now so let's identify first h of negative x your h of negative x here is negative x to the third power minus 5 times the quantity of negative x squared minus 3 times the quantity of negative x plus 15. So let's evaluate now the exponents. So negative x to the third power is still negative x cubed. The negative x squared is positive x squared times negative 5 is negative 5x squared. Then negative x times negative 3 is positive 3x, then plus 15. So with this, this is our now 
h of negative x, is this equal to the given? Obviously, no. So we will get first negative h of x. Again, for us to get negative h of x, we have to distribute or multiply the h of x with negative. So x cubed minus 5x squared minus 3x plus 15 multiply with negative. So distributing the negative, it will be negative x cubed, negative times negative 5x squared is positive 5x squared, negative times negative 3x is positive 3x, the negative times uh, positive 15 is negative 15. Now, this is our negative h of x. Is this equal to h of negative x? Of course, no. So with this, h of x is not equal to h of negative x and also not equal to negative h of x, then we can say that h of x is neither even nor odd. So you see class, the highest degree here or the degree of the polynomial is 3 and 3 is odd. So do not jump to the conclusion just because the highest degree is odd, that doesn't mean it's really an odd function. You have to get first h of negative x, then negative h of x for you to say the uh, type of the function.